trying to see up 10 zip. Casey Clawson looking for Dante Stallworth. Oh, what a grab. Gets it right over the defender. Clawson scored on the next play at 17-0 balls. Now 17-7, third and 14. Stallworth on the reverse. Breaks a tackle. And then he turns on the Jets. A 42-yard gain back into Michigan territory. Same drive in the second quarter at the Michigan 12. Clawson to Stallworth. Down at the one again. So Clawson would score in the very next play. Stallworth, eight catches, 119 yards. Ball's up 24-10 at the half. In the third, Clawson continues to air it out. Tight end Jason Witten. And how about the tight end going 64 yards for the touchdown? Clawson had three touchdown passes on the day. Still in the third quarter. Michigan down 31-10. John Navarre to Marquise Walker. And that is a terrific catch, but he's just out of bounds. Look at the replay. Worth another look. Marquise, great job. And that foot barely out of bounds. 45 to 17. Yep, the balls take it. Winning their first bowl game since beating Florida State for the 98 national title title. Clawson, a career high 393 yards, three scores. He also ran for two more. Balls rode up 503 yards of offense. Most Michigan has given up to any team all year. 45-17 loss, the worst in 33 all-time bowl games for Michigan. The Wolverines' previous worst defeat, 20 points to Washington in the Rose Bowl 10 years ago. 45 points given up, also the most ever allowed by Michigan in any bowl get South Carolina and Ohio State in the Outback Bowl. Third quarter, South Carolina 14 zip. Phil Petty looking for more. Plenty of time to find Andrea Gauze, who goes up 50 yard touchdown. Point after fail, but Carolina is still up 20 to nothing. Ohio State rolling back down 28-7 in the fourth. Greg Krenzel, the quarterback, to number eight. Yes, Steve Balasari, the usual quarterback, lined up at wide receiver. He only got three yards before he stepped out of bounds. All this stuff doesn't matter. It does matter, though, that Balasari was reinstated after a drunk driving charge in November. Two plays later, Krenzel out. Balasari in at quarterback, second and ten. Fakes the handoff. Using his feet, he finds Darnell Sanders for the 16-yard touchdown. Ohio State down 14. Still in the fourth, Belisari. Michael Jenkins gets it inside the one. That set up Jonathan Wells' touchdown. Ohio State only down seven. Two minutes to go. Belisari scrambling. Two touchdown catches for Sanders. That's the second one. We are tied at 28. Remember, Ohio State was down 28 nothing in this. South Carolina driving. Petty goes back, airs it out. Cy Grant says, thank you very much. The Buckeyes get it back. Ensuing drive for Ohio State. Not playing to go into overtime in the tie. They're going for it all, and it costs them. Belisari picks by Sheldon Brown. And then he returns it all the way to the Buckeye 29. So South Carolina gets it with 23 seconds left to go. Seven seconds left. Daniel Weaver for South Carolina going to try a 42-yarder for the win. Belisari hoping for overtime. Here's Weaver's attempt. From 42, it would have been good from 42 and a half. He just gets it over. South Carolina wins it. You take a look at it again by inches. South Carolina wins the Outback Bowl by the final 31-28. Gamecocks 0-11 only two years ago and Lou Holtz's first year have won back-to-back -back bowl games for the first time in 108 seasons, both against the Buckeyes. These wins, Phil Petty, the game's MVP, threw for 227 yards and two scores. 15 straight non-championship game bowls, taking on the Virginia Tech Club in the Gator Bowl. Grant Knoll here to Andre Davis over the middle in the third quarter. Hokies down three, but no more. That is a 55-yard touchdown. Tech up 17 to 13. Davis five catches, 158 yards. Fourth quarter, third and five. Seminoles at the 23. Chris Ricks to Javon Walker. And he gets behind the secondary and then turns on that Florida State speed. Walker had four catches for 195 yards. Knowles up 20 to 17. 248 left in the game. Knowles up 23-17. It's fourth and one. Ricks talks to Bobby. You've got to get that? it now. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to get it. That's simple. Ricks with the quarterback sneak. Boy, it looks short. And come up, you will see the linesman give him what would turn out to appear to be at least a generous spot. He appears to be stopped short there, but then that extra one, she was given that. It's a first down. Next play, first and 10. From the Virginia Tech 23, Hokies showing blitz, so Rick's audibles, and he made the right decision. Just getting it off before the 
Play clock expired. That's a 23-yard touchdown to Walker. The Seminoles win it 30 to 17 thanks to that big 17-point fourth quarter. Bobby Bowden will now start next season with 323 career wins, tied with the great Bear Bryant and four behind leader Joe Paterno. Ricks, only a redshirt freshman, completed just 12 passes, but they went for 326 yards and two touchdowns. Cotton Bowl, Arkansas and Oklahoma facing each other for only the third time in 75 years. It's all defense, Roy Williams. Rocky Kalmus, big time. Second quarter, Oklahoma up 7-0. Arkansas, third and 15. Watch Williams coming in from the top of the screen. Matt Jones is neat. Williams' second sack of the game. Oklahoma had five sacks in the first half alone. Fourth quarter now, 10-3. Williams again in the box. Arkansas tries some trickeration. It doesn't work. Williams stays at home, and Gerald Howard is thrown to the ground. Arkansas had 37 yards rushing all day. Under two minutes to play. Jones faking the option. And he loses the football. Teddy Lehman knocks it loose. Rocky Kalmus there to fall on it. Bob Stute's defense is awesome. The Sooners win it 10-3, tying the school record with nine sacks. Earlier today on College Game Day, Kirk Herbstreet said the Razorbacks would have trouble getting 100 yards of offense. They finished with exactly half that, 50. Oklahoma's offense wasn't much better, but Nate Nibble did Festival matching the Big 12 Pac-10 champions in our Sports Center showcase highlight. There's Ralphie Four, and mmm, them's good eating. Joey Harrington, he's loose, going out in high style. First quarter, Colorado ball, third and nine at their own 47. Bobby Pesavento, little toss there to Cortland Johnson. He's going to go 33 yards. The Buffs pound in Nebraska, took care of Texas, trying to do more here. And look at the nice one-handed grab. A couple of linemen get out in front. They do some nice blocking, but unfortunately trip their man. It led to a touchdown by Brandon Drum. Seven zip Colorado bring out the Oregon offense. Harrington, Sammy Parker, he's got it. He's running for 32 yards. Yo! Three plays late. Harrington, this is a nice pitch and a better catch. Keenan Howry on the money. 7-7. Seven, seven. Harrington is pumped because he is just getting started. Oh, a little pirouette. Second quarter, first and 10, Oregon, their own 21. Harrington drops back. This, too, is a pretty aerial. There's Parker in stride. Longest TD pass of Harrington's college career, 79 yards, 14-7. Ducks, Parker had himself a football game. Nine catches, 162 yards. Colorado's their own 32 in the second. Pesavento, Steve Smith, quack, quack. He's got that duck, and he's headed the other way. Oregon defense thought perhaps they were undersized against the big bad buffs. They held up just fine, thank you, in Tempe, Arizona. The interception leads to that. Ontario Smith, six-yard touchdown on the shovel pass. He also had 51 yards rushing. Take another look. There you got your buff linebackers, Joey Johnson, Corey Masani, and they're going to blitz. They play right into the Ducks' hands. Flip it. They've overrun the play, and Ontario Smith... Six yards, six easy points. Yo, Harrington all pumped up. Oregon up 21-7 at the half. Third quarter, still same, 21-7. Maurice Morris gets the handoff, gets the sideline, and now tripped up, but he doesn't go down. He sits on that buff, gets back up, and heads to pay dirt. Morris, 89 yards running in the game, 28-7. We're going to look at this again. There he goes, the knee, never down. You just keep up and keep running. That's what he'll do. Nice play. Later in the third, Colorado trying to come back. Pesavento. Derek McCoy. We got a touchdown there. Pesavento, 11 to 27, 139 yards, two picks. But that TD, we might have to call it back. We'll put up where the line of scrimmage is, and that foot looks to be over. Ball does not. But this ain't Don Mikowski and the Packers against the Bears. That play is coming back. Gary Barnett not happy, seven off the board. Now it's 31 7 in the fourth. Craig Oaks in to play a little quarterback. His first throw tipped, and there is Steve Smith for his third pick of the day, a new Fiesta Bowl record. One shy of the all time bowl record of four, and it's going to lead to Harrington looking for Justin Peel. Got his man, Harrington, 28 of 42, 350 yards, four TDs. That is an MVP performance as Oregon wins at 38-16. And now the Ducks join all those Nebraskans in shouting, Go Big Red. First 11-win season in Oregon history. The first New Year's Day Bowl win since 1917. Buff's worst bowl loss ever, and it ends a run of six straight wins in a bowl game. The Ducks D holding Colorado to 49 yards rushing while the offense rolled up 500 even. Help the South Superdome for the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Illinois first trip to New Orleans, LSU, three and seven in their Sugar Bowl history. First quarter, Kurt Kittner having some trouble. Knocked down by Howard Green. Two plays later, 
Kittner's pass. Hands up again. Ryan Clark gets a paw on it. Down it goes. Kittner one of eight. One yard passing in the first quarter. Second quarter. Dominic Davis subbing for Brandon Tofield doing quite well. Thank you. 25 yards. Second touchdown of the game. Extra points blocked. 13 nothing. Later in the second. Same score. Davis slashing through the fight in the line. I again 16 yards. His third touchdown of the game. He had five all season coming in. It's 20 nothing. Still in the second. Quarterback Rohan Davey back feeling good. Finds Josh Reed who had 14 catches. 239 yards. 34-7 LSU at halftime. That's a record for most points in the first half. Down there in New Orleans, 34. LSU for more. Davey finds Reed again, 32 yards. Extra point is good. Reed's 239 yards, a Sugar Bowl record. Into the fourth, 41-21. Illinois, that's good. Walter Young's got it, got the foot in. Touchdown, 41-28. Later in the fourth, Davis scoring so often. Why not one more? That's his fourth touchdown of the game. 47-28. He finished with 122 yards and 28 carries. Still in the fourth quarter. For a while, we thought the game might not end. Brandon Lloyd, the wide receiver, gets the handoff. Now he's going to throw. Guy had five receptions in this game, a rush for 14 yards, and a touchdown pass of 40 yards. Gets it to 47-34, two-point conversion, no good. Late fourth, Davey finds Corey Webster. First down, and LSU would run out the clock. 96 plays they ran in this one, 595 yards of offense, 47 points. They are the Sugar Bowl champions. LSU closes out its season with six consecutive wins for the first time since 1961. Tigers' sixth 10 win season in school history. First since 96. Their fifth straight bowl win in this one. 81 combined points. That's a Sugar Bowl record. Luckily, LSU had most of them, which made their coach Nick Saban happy. He's now 6 0 all time against Illinois. This was a little bit of a defining moment for us as a program because, you know, we won the championship and it was our first opportunity to you know, act like a champion and be a champion. And, and I was proud of the way our players did it. I think that's a big lift for our program, and hopefully we're going to carry over into being a more dominant team in the future.